All right, so today's video is gonna be about using the Brothers Frame Shortening Kit, long box to short box conversion kit for this uh, 71 Chevrolet. Uh, it's a C20, but we're converting it to a C10. We don't need all the heavy suspension for what we're doing, but we're doing a frame off restoration and we want a, uh, we don't want a long bed, we want a short bed. So we decided we're gonna purchase the Brothers Shortening Kit, Frame Shortening Kit that is, and uh, see if somebody with an average skill set and an average garage can uh, use this kit easily. Now, we're gonna start with, you know, obviously taking all the stuff that connects these frames together, because we're gonna be cutting that bad boy right in here. So we're gonna have to get the drive shaft out, we're gonna have to get the brackets out, wiring, emergency brake harness, pretty much everything out of the way so we can cut a big old section out of this frame and tie it together. Let's go look at the kit. Well, here's the kit. I've already opened it, but I can tell you when this thing shipped, all these pieces were nice and secure. This box, very well packed. Comes with your all the bolt and hardware you're gonna need. Uh, we're not gonna be using any of this stuff, but if you needed it, it comes with your emergency brake cable and brake line extension. And then obviously, nice uh, clear instructions on how to install this kit. And it's really nice to see something like this printed out, a good quality with not black and white pictures clear lettering and uh, you know just a overall good quality but besides the instructions this is pretty much what you're gonna get here and I don't know how well you can see it but everything has instructions on it all the bolt holes tell you the sizes I believe that's a year we'll read the instruction because it says 7276 we'll figure that out here in a bit it tells you everything you need to do and then obviously it comes with your actual final assembly well, first, let me give you an overview of our project so you guys are kind of caught up to speed without watching all the videos. Person before me, when I bought this, they put in all the new panels, but all they did was spot rivet and uh, hide with Bondo, just like we see here, not really good. But as you can tell, I pretty much got all the metal to, uh, to replace all this new bad stuff, I'm gonna call it, and whatever else we might find. B, uh, B pillars, A pillars, you name it, it's in this truck. Now, we may have to go into the roof panel. I'm not really sure yet, but uh, that's yet to be determined. But this will be a frame off, complete restoration. Uh, I'm not sure where we're gonna go with it, but I know we're gonna get this thing looking brand new again. Let's get cutting on this bad boy and uh, get to work.
Well, we ran into a bit of a snag and I'm a little pissed off about it. So my son and I were getting ready to bolt this kit up and well, she isn't lining up. Now let's start from the beginning. This is the template that they give you. All right, so it's gonna say PA for the passenger side. And to show that I did not mix these up, this all lines up. You see that little, that little oops right there? That oops is right here. All right, you guys, you guys tracking? All right, let's move this over here. All right, so you'll see here, this is my angle grinder cut this. You'll see where it tells you to drill your holes. And they make it Barney, they break it down Barney style, which, you know, I thought. I thought they were looking out for me. So, we've drilled our holes in tops, in the bottoms, and here, and here, and here. And then you're supposed to utilize these two back uh, holes from your old cab mount. All right, you guys still tracking? So, guess what? If you look at it, oh man, she lines up like a dream right that's perfect you're well on your way now if you were doing this without the frame uh completely separate from the cab this would absolutely infuriate you so we'll take this template which obviously i drilled by using this we're gonna move it to here i can only get two of the bolt holes see all those missing guys they're not there got one on the top so you say well how did i get to this point well let's go grab the driver's side and let me show you something look at this watch this oh look at that they all line up just perfectly right you think to yourself well you're just you're putting them on wrong or something right yeah that's what i was thinking too even the top holes yeah good to go let's move this to this side i can only get two of the drill holes and then those are yep not drilled and then i can get the top one just fine but Let's look on the back side. You'll see, yeah, those are all good to go, right? You'll see these two right here, where my finger at, not drilled. Let's recap this. I'll break it down even more simpler. This side fits. This side fits on here like a glove. All the holes line up just perfect, right? Ugh. But... This one does not match to this one. That's where I have to take this one. And look, it all lines up. But here's the problem. This is supposed to be that, and that is supposed to be this. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is a man. Oh my God! Einhorn is a man! God. I don't even know what to do. I mean, did I even cut the frame in the right spot? Because gosh, I hope so. I mean, I followed the instructions, did all the drills, cut where I was supposed to, and not lying, because there's my whoops. This is this side, and that's the PA for Pat, past your side. And it is absolutely off. Like I said, if I was, I could take this issue here and replicate it on that side. Oh, am I missing something here? Am I doing something wrong? I have no idea. Two hours later. All right, going over their instructions here, I think I figured out what's going on. And it's not necessarily the way they cut their, uh, their dies and their, made their kit, but I still can't really understand how they missed this or how this is an issue but if you look here this is where my rear cab mount mounted 
these holes were the original mounting locations of that cab mount. Take notice of this hole here and this hole here in correlation to these holes right here. So you looking at if you look at the photo of their instructions, notice how much higher those uh, rear body mount bracket holes are to those holes I just told you to remember that are in the middle of that frame. So look at this and then look at that. Can you see see the issue here? It's, it might be hard to tell with the rust and everything, but I'm kind of retarded. These bracket holes are much uh, higher on this uh, frame that's in the picture here. With mine, they're much lower, like considerably a much lower. So if I take my old, my old bracket here and I mount it up, it's not really flush with the frame where I think it should be like that. But there's no modifications to this frame. This, this hasn't been replaced, hasn't been removed. This hasn't been in an accident. These were factory rivets that I took out the only difference I can think of is that this is a uh, a C20 three quarter ton frame. I don't know what that makes a difference on mounting locations for the for the bed or not the bed but the rear cab. But it makes me really concerned that uh, when I go to bolt this back up, is it going to bolt up nice? So the only option I have, the only option I have is to take this kit because this all. This all lines up, all, it's all copacetic over here. And I'm gonna have to move it over here, get all my bolt holes lined up, just like so. One, two, three, and then there'll be a bottom one here that I haven't drilled yet because I've been, I was test fitting, but I'm gonna have to drill these on my own holes here. I mean, that's, that's what I've gotta do to make this work. Now, I wish brothers uh, can mention something like this or sell an alternative kit for this issue okay so where we're at now is these are the two holes that brothers template allowed me to follow and I did find something a little interesting and we'll get that to that in a minute uh, top hole didn't line up that well and then I just I didn't drill the bottom hole yet so that one was drilled. Here's what I found out that was interesting. So when I was telling you that my lower, my cab mount was lower than uh, what the die or this would allow, what it thought it would be at. Well, I figured that maybe I had a weird frame. Maybe, I don't know, something made mine different than others, which is always seems to be the case. So I had to re-drill these two holes because this is where the old uh, cab mount used to bolt up here's what i found out so brothers they knew this how did i know that they knew this is the fact that they put three quarter ton body mount holes when i relocate this they already put these in here so i can put the bolts here and then i can drill out my new cab mount holes and be done with this so they knew that this would be lower than the average average c10 so if they knew that then why in the heck did they not account for it here or did they because i tried making it work no matter what and i could not get there was no holes for these to be bolted down lower you knew that that body mount was lower judging by the fact that you're telling us to use these holes as reference marks to drill your new body cab or cab mount location you all gotta do better you guys you guys simplified a whole process but you damn near ruined my project had me shit in a brick because i just cut a, a frame in half going off of your guys's kit so we're going to continue going through this project we uh we have this all bolted up so now we're going to marry the two pieces and then we're gonna do the relocation uh, holes for this body mount back here. So enjoy.